and uh, first off, Cole, how's the preparation been going for the bowl game? Uh, it's been good. We got a few days of practice in, which was, I think, really good for our younger guys. Um, since we had three weeks before this game, uh, we got some time to let them develop a little bit more. So I think we'll see some more guys in the game this weekend. Uh, it was nice to get back for the see the family for Thanksgiving, and then we're going to get back at it this week. Playing in this bowl game, what does this mean for you? Uh, it's very exciting. I mean, not only me, but really the seniors more than anybody. Um, just having an extra opportunity to go out with – guys they've been here five, six years with. Uh, I know it's really exciting for them. I'm, I'm just excited to compete again. Um, you know you love to play and to get an extra game. It's something to be really thankful for. I was out of practice last Wednesday, and it felt like there was a, an aura or an atmosphere or an energy around this team that uh, you want to make the most of this opportunity. Yeah, um, it's incredibly exciting because uh, when we played Northwest, we all thought that was our last game together. And to be told you have another one, uh, it's incredibly exciting, um, a chance to go maybe get a ring. Um, it's something we're all very excited for. What about Southeastern Oklahoma State? You saw them in a scrimmage last spring. I don't know how much that plays into this game coming up on Saturday, but what's your overall impression of Southeastern? Um, uh, defensively, uh, they're going to be a zone team. They're going to have some safeties. They'll come down a little hard. They've got uh, some corners. They're long. They can run a little bit. I'm excited to see them. Um, I think each player pretty much got a quarter against them in the spring. So to see how it plays out over a full game, um, I'm really excited about it. I think it's going to be a good challenge and one that I think we'll be ready for. Yeah, a lot of excitement. So we came in on a Sunday, and we didn't know if we were going to be turning in our pads and everything that day. And we get told that we get another game. I mean, the room lit up, um, as it should. I mean, it's incredibly exciting. and I know we're all really thankful for it. Um, I mean, it's just complete elation. I mean, you could see it not only for me, but for everyone. Guys lit up when they found out about it. Um, I love this team so much. I love the seniors we have. Uh, to have three more weeks to be with them, to be with this coaching staff, uh, three more weeks for young guys to develop, and just another chance to compete. It's incredible. Uh, I'm very thankful for it, and I'm happy we get to go out with these seniors one more time. Um, in that game, we saw yeah, they gave more pressure than we've seen all year from anybody than my double A, probably. Just in the scrimmage where they would rush six, seven guys. That's uh, not something you see a whole lot, so that's something we've been preparing for because they gave us some trouble in the spring. Um, yeah, that will be the big one is just the pressure. Um, make sure we get off press, things like that. Make sure we can beat man coverage. And then off our Um, when they play their zone, I think they um, uh, they, they have some soft spots. And I think a lot of it's going to be good decision making um, by our receivers, um, and then good decision making by Braden, uh, making sure we can sit in soft spots in zone. Uh, then we're going to be able to run the ball. You always got to be able to run the ball. Um, I know that's something we've been working on this week. Um, got to be able to run. Thank you. Zach, do you have anything? Hey, cool. um, so one of the benefits of, of four games that maybe a lot of fans don't see is some of you mentioned the actual least practice. How meaningful is it for the team, even beyond this whole game, but looking even into next season, to have these extra weeks? Um, it's awesome. Um, the, the younger guys is who it's going to help the most because they were able to get some reps throughout the season. They really only get – to play scout team. They don't get to run our defense or our offense, our system. And for them to get some practices in where they get to run our offense, um, that's going to be big for them. Um, and then just three extra weeks of playing against our seniors, our older guys, because being on scout team helps a lot. And to get a few more weeks of that, that's, that's going to be awesome for them. A lot of these other guys ask questions that I would ask. So, Dipper won't want to be in basketball all season. A lot of guys have long hair this year. Is that a team? 
You know what? I think this is truly what it is, is I looked so good last year that guys just sort of go with it. I think I was kind of the original. Um, and, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll take that. You know, I appreciate it. Uh, but really, they're all just copying me. So that's it. Yeah, we, we know the dogs won this Saturday, and we made sure everyone else knew that too. Uh, I was able to get back to Rossville, see Coach Thomas uh, this past week, and, and that was good. That was fun. It's good to see those guys succeed. Thanks, guys. Well, Kyle, Kyle, for you, senior year, what does this mean to you to get this uh, 12th game? Uh, it means a lot um, just to come back and have another bowl game. Uh, we didn't really have the season that we wanted, but it was a still a winning season. Uh, Northwest is a very hard opponent to beat, and um, it showed. I mean, they won, they won the MIAA. But just to, just to come back and have another game, it's, it means everything, and uh, we're ready to play. How the practices go? Uh, good. Um, we're just kind of getting started, like getting back into like the groove of things and just introducing uh, Southeastern. Um, first couple of practices, just like kind of getting in shape, getting the feel of things. And then now we're just in full go. And so we're just um, going to our meetings, just uh, introducing a lot of stuff that they do and um, just going over a whole lot of stuff. From what you've seen and what you guys have talked about, what kind of stands out about Southeastern and what makes them so good? Um, uh, defensively, uh, we're just we're just trying to like keep everything in front in the secondary. Uh, we've preached that a lot uh, throughout the season, and this this bowl game, um, there's going to be a lot of hype for this, so we're going to be ready to go. And um, they have some very explosive receivers, so uh, they'll be ready too. And uh, we remember that before the season, but overall, we'll be ready. Oh yeah, uh, we were very excited. Um, Coach Higgins was kind of like uh, coming in there, and um, he didn't really like tell us right off the bat, but he kind of like implemented. It. We were kind of like getting excited to uh, get told, but right when he told us, we were just ready to go, and we were wondering when we were going to practice and get all excited and stuff. So uh, we were very excited. Yeah, uh, so uh, at Northwest, we were, uh, all the seniors are just kind of very emotional, uh, myself included, um, just knowing it'd probably be my last game. But I mean, there's always hope and you, you never know uh, what what can happen and uh, Washburn got in the playoffs and stuff. So that just kind of um, humbled us and got another opportunity to play another game. And uh, we're very thankful that we got selected to do that. So um, there's a lot of things that we can look back on. Uh, in the regular season, but this is just another game we can go out and show our skills. So we're very thankful. You mentioned for the senior class, what does this mean to you and some of the other teammates that, that you're close to? Uh, not only to get one more game, but to be able to say that when your senior year you guys went to bowl again. Uh, it, it, mean, it means a lot. Um, Cole Baird and Jason McDowell were my uh, freshman roommates. So we talked a lot about uh, just getting another chance and uh, kind of sending these guys out the right way. I know they want to do that for us, but we kind of are trying to set the example even one more game just to um, go, go over there and uh, show what we can do and just overall uh, come together as a family one more time and we're enjoying all these practices and it's just a great experience in Emporia. Uh, well, I played Jason High School uh, when he went to Columbus. I went to Independence, but uh, he, he's done that ever since high school. Like um, he, he came here, we decided to come here and commit here, and so I knew he was a leader coming here, and he just led us to through everything, through losses, wins, just being a leader out there. Uh, I love how much energy he has, uh, getting us ready for third down. You know, there's a lot of third down opportunities we have, 
and just overall, like he's just a great person. He's he's a brother to me. Uh, I've always looked up to him, and all the other guys look up to him too. So it's just it's just great to have him out there, and uh, it's great to have one more game with him. Oh yeah, one hundred percent. Just he's just trying to like every day. He just comes to practice every day with the right mindset, uh, gets us going, and he's he's very he's very mature. He's he's made everyone else around him better. He just he just tries to find different things to practice, just to focus on one percent and stuff. So that's what that's our motto here: just focus on one percent and just try to get everyone ready for the game and just uh, prepare the right way and everything. Thank you. Right, in the course of Cannibal, yes. Yeah, tell me about what that experience is like, you know, getting to not only have extra practice, but getting to travel somewhere new. Um, what is that like for, for you and for the team? Uh, it, it's it's a good experience. Uh, when we went to Corsicana, um, we had this, like, festival that we walked downtown and stuff and got to meet a lot of people, and they welcomed welcomed us in uh, in the morning. Uh, that morning when we, when we were going to do a practice, um, we got to go to a school and uh, – welcome all the kids in there so they got to see us and stuff so their their smiles are pretty great and then just to get another opportunity for this bowl game is I mean it means the world you know just another game to go out there and um, play the way play the way that we play so we're we're ready uh just just the preparation just every day at practice you know ever since i got here um there's been high energy with everyone that's come through here uh we just try to um, pick each other up when we do bad at practice or do like a certain thing that um we don't we don't do good so we just try to kind of uphold everything and uphold everyone to try to do the right thing and just a family atmosphere you know like uh, every single person in this locker room is like my brother and um that, that'll That'll be the, the thing that through the standard of Emporia through the years to come. So that's what we kind of lean on. We lean on each other. So um, we do that every game, and that's just what brings us together. Uh, just uh, don't leave anything out there, you know. Just um, try to try to do everything you can, and um, try to. I try to set an example for the young guys coming up, you know. Like just like how we got another another opportunity. You never know uh, about the playoffs next year, you know. Um, whenever their opportunity uh, presents itself to get a bowl game or just to play in the playoffs, you know. So just just going out there and give it giving it my all and showing them like how how to do things and just to work hard. Yep, appreciate it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, Coach, uh, another bowl game coming up, another opportunity to win a football game. First off, uh, have you have you been pleased with the way that the team has approached practices and prepared for this game? I've been very pleased with how our team is, has prepared and how they have practiced. Uh, we gave them some time off. Um, we got in some multiple practices or, or good practices before Thanksgiving break, and they were – you know, a lot of times the day before you practice uh, on uh, during Thanksgiving, like the day before, sometimes you may have a practice that is not that good. Guys focusing in on, hey, I'm getting ready to go home for Thanksgiving. Our guys, I thought we had a great day. We had a great practice on that Wednesday. My thing is it needs to carry over to today, you know, Monday, kind of getting back in the swing of things. So. And we'll go at it pretty hard today. But I have been pleased with uh, their effort and their focus. What about Southeastern Oklahoma State? You saw them in the scrimmage. Mm -hmm. Does that come into play at all for Saturday? Well, I think it comes into play like neither one of us are going to drastically change from what we did in the spring. Yeah, I'm, you know, we run more plays, and I'm sure they have different plays they run and different defenses they run. So, like, it'll come into play like we're at least familiar with base-type offense, defense. Um, but that's about it. 
you know, we have film on it, you know, which we filmed last spring. So that's something that we can take a look at, you know, uh, which I'm sure they're doing the same thing. But uh, they're a very good football team. Three losses. Um, all of them are, you know, we've, we've felt like that our losses were close. Theirs have been closer, you know, so very impressive uh, season that they've had. And, and uh, they've done a great job there. Where do you see the strengths for Southeastern to start on offense first? Yeah, I think their starts with uh, their quarterback, I think, is very good. Um, he makes them go. I think they're talented at wide receiver. And they have a running back that uh, actually <clears throat> was in this league. He's a transfer from Northeastern Oklahoma State. He's a, he's a good back, you know. So uh, that's – and offensively, they do a lot of different things. You know, they're multiple. Um, and then defensively, they uh, <clears throat> play very hard. I've been very uh, impressed with how hard they play. Uh, they're an attacking style defense, you know, where they're not going to set back on their heels. They're going to come at you. And uh, they got some very good players over there, like I said, that, that play extremely hard. Um, so, yeah, it's going to be a big challenge for us. Yeah, I thought it was over. And, uh, you know, we got, to <clears throat> be honest with you, we got our teeth kicked in that day. So I wasn't in the best of mood. Um, so, yeah, I thought, uh, I thought, hey, we might have had a chance before the game. Uh, but I didn't think about it that much, you know, if we'd have won it. But once we lost, I didn't think that we would have that, that opportunity to continue to, to play, which is awesome. Yeah. Well, I tell you what, then, if he did, I'm in the wrong job. And uh, so I need to be doing something else here on campus. Yeah, great question. Uh, I got a phone call from my athletic director Sunday morning. I'd say it's probably about 9 a.m. And I just – and I – it wasn't around my phone, but I don't know, it might have been 30 minutes later I saw that he had called. And uh, I felt like – I thought he was just calling to tell me, hey, tough loss yesterday, good job, good season, you know, another winning season, and just kind of go through that a little bit. And, and uh, so I didn't call him right back. And then it's probably 30 minutes later, it's about 10 a.m., and he calls again. So I'm like, well, all right. And I actually missed that phone call. So I'm like, well, he's called me twice. So uh, I better call him. So I called him, and that's when he said, hey, we got an opportunity if uh, Washburn does not make the playoffs that, you know, we got a chance to play in a bowl game. Do you want to do it? And I said, heck, yeah. You know, I mean, why, why wouldn't I? You know, our players – I think we're a good football team, number one. We've had a, a good season. Yeah, we'd like to have played in the p playoffs. I get it, but it's very difficult in the MIAA. Uh, also, we got a great group of seniors, and we didn't get to play all of 2020. We didn't play a game. We had two scrimmages in the spring, so why not? Why not have extra practice time, you know, be able to work with your young guys some more? So I was excited about it, really was, you know. And, uh, and then Monday, they kind of – once, once Washburn made the playoffs, they kind of let me know, hey, you're, you're going to get the invite, but don't – it's kind of like don't tell anybody, you know. So we kind of had to do that deal. And then, uh, of course, we flew down w uh, Wednesday on the private jet, which is big time. And I hate to fly. I hate – I'm not a big – I don't I, – I, I get kind of nervous. But it was smooth. It really was. And uh, it, was, uh, it was pretty cool. I mean, if I ever had money, if I ever had, if I was a millionaire, billionaire, whatever, it might, I'm going to have me a plane because it was, it was pretty impressive. Yeah, there, I told them, you know, like I, I told them Monday, uh, but I just said, and our guys are pretty good at keeping a secret, all right, which is, you know, in this day and age, pretty hard, but. 
they they did a good job and they didn't say anything you know uh on social media or anything so i kind of told them they were excited they had no they were in shock you know i mean they were like are you serious coach and, and they were excited they really were uh and there was no question in our mind we didn't need to take a vote about playing we're playing you know that's what we want to do so um yeah it was uh it was it was good it was you know the seniors were excited and and uh so it's been been a, a pleasant surprise now we got to go win a game now let's now let's continue to get better and and let's continue to work on this process of our f football program continuing to get better and let's go win a game no i i did i i was at the game and uh it was, uh, uh, I don't want to say it was a shock. I tell you, it was an impressive uh, win by Blue Valley Northwest. I mean, you know, Derby has so much tradition and they've won so many state titles. You know, Blue Valley Northwest is, you know, kind of, they, you know, a little chip on their shoulder. They played, they played really hard. It was a, it was a, it was a really good game. So, yeah, I was, had an opportunity to come and, and uh, Watch some also some college football on Saturday, relax and watch some good high school football. All right, thanks, Coach. You, you bet. Thank you. Zach, well, for us, and I don't know where we're at statistically, but you know, we've done. In the last 10 years, uh, you know, last 11 years, you know, as far as postseason playoffs, you know, and I'm counting the bowl games, we've done that's we, we've done more here than ever been done in the history of, of this school, you know, and that means something, you know. I mean, I've been here a long time, and it's been a lot of hard work. I've had a, a lot of great coaches with me to get this program turned around and to develop the type of culture that we can be proud of. And that's what it means to me is that, uh, yeah, we didn't make the playoffs, uh, but we had another winning season. I mean, before, before 2007, Emporia State, since they had turned Division II, had only won six or more games six times. That's it. And we've done it multiple times here and been in the playoffs and been in actual this would be our third bowl game so that's how I look at it you know I mean you get an opportunity to go to the playoffs or play in the postseason in a bowl game it's a reward you know I think it helps us in recruiting I think it helps us um, again getting those extra practices to help develop your young your young players Yeah, I think early on the first two practice were geared towards just our young guys and then doing just some basic uh, fundamental things with our older guys, you know, getting back to some basics on, on some, some things that we felt like we need to improve on from the, from the fall, you know, from the year. Uh, and then after that, our third practice mixed it in where we started to introduce Southeastern and also still practice with the young guys. and. And then right before Thanksgiving, it was all game plan, and that's what we're into right now too as well. That's kind of how we how we did it. And like you mentioned, this is your first bowl appearance. What's the kind of experience of traveling to the bowl and kind of the whole around the, the game? What's that like for you? You know, it's uh, I, I enjoy it. I enjoy it being around the players and seeing them with a smile on their faces. The thing as a head coach you always worry about is you got to remember we got a game to play, you know, and uh, this is our third one. I didn't think we played very well in the second bowl game we played in. I mean, we won the game, but I didn't think we played very well specifically on offense. So my mindset's been, you know, I've learned a little bit from that bowl game. All right, all right this is how we're going to prepare this time. And we've done a few things differently. But, again, you haven't played in three weeks. So – Along with all the extra things you got to do, which is awesome, which is w what it's about, you got to remember and you got to make sure your guys are locked in, focused on the task at hand. 
you know. And then you also have to make sure that, hey, that, that Saturday, it'll be three weeks we, since we played. So we're going to see full – it's going to be full speed looks. So we got to make sure we're doing that and getting those types of looks, uh, you know, this week and, and like we did last week in practice where we're doing a lot of good on good. I think it's important. You bet. Thank you. All right. Thanks much. All right.